Hello boys and girls, I am back and today I'm going to do a very special video. It is special for two reasons. First of all, I am going to do a really interesting video of me getting ready for the stage because actually I am on tour right now. I am in our tour bus and this is the best I could organize for this um, video the best I could do. Um, it's still light outside so I'm gonna do my best to show you a quick version of a stage makeup for tonight's show. Today in this video you're not just gonna learn more about me but you're also maybe gonna learn how to do makeup. We are in Czech Republic and tonight we have a show here in Brno and this is the color of the outfit I'm gonna wear on the stage and I really like to combine colors with the outfit color for my makeup. So let's start! First of all I'm going to moisturize a little bit my face. I like to use different brands. My favorite brand is Kat Von D. I like it for two reasons. First of all, it's waterproof makeup and it holds so well for all the shows. If you don't know much about metal concerts, uh, I'm gonna tell you. Metal heads, metal musicians sweat a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot, a lot. We need a waterproof makeup. Second reason why I like this company is also because it's a vegan, cruelty-free company and I try to, you know, care about that a lot. So yeah, I'm starting with a little bit of moisturizer for my face. If you're wearing makeup every day, especially heavy makeup, stage makeup, your skin is gonna hate you after a little bit. Even when you're using good product, it's still a lot of pressure for your skin. Your skin is not really breathing so well, so be nice and kind to your face. <laughs> Alright, this is all done. After that, I'm going to apply my foundation and I am using the Lock It foundation number 47 and I like to apply it with a brush because it's way faster. This foundation is also awesome because actually it covers a lot. Any tattoos that you don't want to be visible for work or for, I don't know, why it could be a reason for you to hide your tattoo, but this specific foundation will cover it. Never forget about your neck. You don't want to look like you have a mask on your face, right? So blend it really well all around your face. A stage makeup is very different from an everyday makeup because um, the product you want to use should be waterproof. Also, you want to use darker colors because the stage usually is pretty dark. And for all the pictures and for people to actually see your features, you need to underline the, your facial features a lot more than in everyday life. So I'm talking about, you know, eyebrows, good contouring and, you know, good eyeliner. Make sure you have eyelashes that can be seen so it doesn't look like you have no eyes. My next one is going to be also Lucket. It's more like a concealer. It's the light concealer to cover a little bit of everything that's happening over here. Make this part a little bit lighter and just a little bit on your nose. Also blend it real well. I use a brush for that but you can use a sponge if you like. Yeah, no aggressive movements. Very nice and easy. Blend it real well. I always keep handy a napkin or tissue and um, a wet one as well, just in case I need to clean my brushes or just get rid of something that I don't need so I don't make a mess around me. Especially on tour, you don't really have a, you know, a vanity or a bathroom all the time. Very often you have to do your makeup 
in the movement when the bus is actually moving because you're in a hurry for the next venue. Sometimes I had to do my makeup in very extreme situations. All right, we are gonna go with a darker concealer. For that, I like to use Temp2. I hope I pronounce it correctly. This is a professional brand um, for professional makeup artists. You know, I'm pretty sure that you can uh, order it online. That's all different colors. I use the darker one for my contouring. Alright, if you um, are not sure how to contour your cheekbone, um, just imagine a line that goes from the corner of your mouth to the end of your ear. Just this huge smile that like a treasure cat would be. Alright, now that we have the product there, I'm going to clean my brush a little bit and try to blend it. It doesn't look very dark when you blend it in. It looks way better. Now, with the same brush, uh, without even adding product, I will contour my nose a little bit. Just a tiny bit to add a little bit of shadow and make it look a tiny bit smaller than it really is. After this is done, we have to lock it in with some powder. I like to use two brushes to apply my powder. And I am using, again, Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder. It is a very good powder that locks in all the foundation that you already did. And it holds well for a very long time. Alright, so I take the smaller brush and I like it that it's super flat here. Um, you know, not a lot of makeup artists use that for um, the powder. I just like it. It's not a rule and you have to remember guys, makeup is not a bunch of rules that you have to put together and just, you know, just um, follow the rules. It's actually more about um, experimenting and finding what works well for you and for your skin or for your, I don't know, for your goal for tonight. So I'm going to use a smaller brush for my eyes and all the area around my eyes. After I'm, I'm done with one eye, I'll continue with the next one. Okay, after you're done with all that, you can use the same brush for your nose because again, it's a smaller area and you want to make sure that you have the powder everywhere. Uh, when your goal is to have a um, stage makeup, you need a lot of product. And when you use the amount of product you're using wisely, it won't feel very heavy on your face. At least that's how I feel. Alright, now we're done and we are going to go ahead and use the bigger brush that is also flat. Alright, so now let's apply the powder everywhere else. Make sure you don't miss a spot. And I know right now you, you're thinking that the face looks very flat and all the contouring we did kind of disappeared. Yes and no. Uh, we are going to do. Um, we are going to apply a um, dry contouring as well on top of it. And because we have the one, um, you know, before, it will hold better and longer. All done. Now I would like to apply just a little bit of more more powder under my eyes because I'm going to use a lot of eyeshadow and in order not to be very messy because I am kind of in a hurry for the show I just apply more over here and over here and I'll just swipe it off later when it's all done so I guess the colors I'm gonna use that are closer to my outfit are these colors over here and in order for the colors to be brighter I need a base or something that you put under the shadow for the shadow to stay long. So for that I'm going to use Kent Von D. This is the color I'm using for my eyebrows which is medium brown but first before I do my eyebrows I'm going to apply a little bit of it on my eyelids. It just just a support for my um, eyeshadow. Never be afraid to experiment as I said before it's really cool to just put 
even like, I don't know, lipsticks on your eyes and eyeshadows on your lips. Doesn't matter. Whatever, you know, whatever looks good and whatever you like. So we apply a little bit of this. Let's go. Alright, so basically that's what I did. I just applied it on my eyelid and blend it all over so I don't have a um, straight line where it ends. I'm going to try to do the same on the next one. And remember I told you before that if you think you have too much product on your pencil, just, you know, use the little tissue. Now our goal is to make them look similar to one another. Not perfectly the same because we can always, you know, um, add or delete something thanks to the shadow, eyeshadow. So basically a little bit similar to each other shape-wise now we take all our beautiful colors and we just play I'm taking this color over here and now I'm applying it to the center of my eyelid and to the end over here. There you go. And for the corner we use a smaller brush. Um, we go with a lighter fuchsia or whatever this color is. We can add it right here. Just a little bit on the bottom as well. And now we are going to take a bigger brush like that and add some of the cool, intense, dark wine red color, or whatever you want to call it, all around it. Basically what I'm trying to create here is I'm trying to blend all the colors together in order to create this beautiful movement of the color. It looks cool already. We definitely are missing some darker colors, but we are gonna arrive there, I promise. I like it now, everything is blended. I wanna add some of the brighter color, Just a little bit of this highlighter under the eyebrow. A little bit on your nose and in your upper lip. Okay, actually, maybe we will also add just a tiny bit over here. Yep, perfect. Okay, now the same procedure we are going to do on this area. So we take this again in order to make it more intense, right? With a smaller brush, just use a very small brush because you can always add more if needed, but you don't want to put too much right away. Then we are going to come back to our other brushes that we already used before for the other colors and really just be feel creative here you can add whatever color you want 
I'm gonna try to stay in the same color combination because remember I'm trying to create a more intense look with um, darker eyes Now we are going to add some black. We are adding some black on the waterline. Yeah, be careful with that because you have to be very gentle. Everybody does it in a different way. What I'm doing is I'm just using my own uh, finger and I just try to be very gentle and add some black in the waterline. Yeah, and another one. It makes your um, gaze way more intense and it looks cool. I think it looks cool. Alright, now that this is done, before I continue, I really want to get rid of all the extra uh, powder that I um, have under my eyes. And for that I'm coming back to my small brush and I just get rid of the extras. Just like that. Sometimes when girls um, do their own makeup, they make funny faces. Well, that's because it's not comfortable to get in certain areas, so you have to do this or that. <laughs> so yeah, we are funny, but we are not doing it on purpose. We just want to be pretty. I'm going to take care of my eyeliner right now. And for my eyeliner, I'm going to use Kat Von D again. My brush for it. Is a little bit curved, just a little bit, and gives me easier access everywhere, I guess. You want to color real well between your eye uh, lashes because otherwise it won't look good. It would look like pieces of color instead of like a whole unique look. I like big eyeliner so here you can be creative whatever you like works I'll add a little bit on the bottom just a tiny bit to make my eyes look bigger okay one is done now the challenge is to make the other one look just the same. Sometimes it's hard. Okay, now that the black is done, we have to add some eyebrows. For the eyebrows, I'm going back to my brown color, my medium brown color, and I go ahead and underline my own eyebrows, sometimes making them a little bit more dramatic than they really are. One is done. It looks way better than this one. What do you think? Way better, for sure. Usually my stage makeup takes um, from 30 to 40 minutes for me, but now because I'm explaining all this to you, it takes way longer. And yeah, I never did this on camera before, by the way. Eyebrows are super important. They sometimes take long to be done. 
but it's totally worth it. I think it's good. We did a good job. Just making them a little bit more similar to one another. Okay, now that our eyebrows are done, we have to take good care of our eyelashes. For my eyelashes on the stage, I am using Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Is it better than sex or not? I don't know, you tell me. That's a cool name of it. So, let's apply this cool stuff on our eyelashes. A little bit the bottom ones, don't forget about them. Normally you can use some eyelashes, I just am trying not to use eyelashes every day on the stage, just sometimes. Um, yeah, you can use eyelashes or not, it's up to you. Now we are going to get rid of all the extra. Okay, now we have to contour our face again with uh, dry contouring and I'm using the darker Atelier uh, Professional Contouring. I like this company a lot. Alright, so we'll go with the darker part first. Um, let's make these cheeks look perfect. Blending it in using the same idea of what we did before. Just a little bit around your hairline. Yeah. And a little bit around your nose. And the next one. I'm using a flat brush first in order to give it the movement I need and the shape I need. And then I like to grab a bigger one and blend it all. When that is done, we will take a little bit of highlighting, just the same one we used before. I used this lighter pink eyeshadow for it, so let's give some shine to these chicks. Don't go too much under your eyes because it will look like you have very tired eyes. So be careful with what you're doing with your highlighter. Um, sometimes you can look way worse uh, if using it incorrectly. Just add a little bit of shine on all of your bones. After that, all that, if you want to, you can add a little bit of, um, you know, rosy cheeks if you really want to. Um, Too Faced has this really cool one, the Peach Glow. I really like this color. It's very, very um, natural. I'm just gonna add a little bit. Alright, perfect. Let's add some cool lipstick to this makeup. Alright, for my lips I'm going to use Kat Von D again. Um, this is a long lasting lipstick. I have no idea what number this is to be honest with you right now. This dark wine, red wine color, I don't know. Let's add some lips. I like dark lips on the stage, they look so cool. Now the most important is to remember to bring your lipstick with you on the stage because you have to fix it sometimes. Well, I think we're done. We only need to add some eyelashes and some earrings and I'm ready to go on the stage. Alright, my makeup is done. 
Thank you so much for watching. I have to run. The showtime is in a few hours. Have to get ready, do my vocal warm ups, and you know, do all the other uh, rituals before the stage. And yeah, this was only me sharing what I do uh, before I go on the stage and what I do for my stage makeup. I am not sponsored or paid by any of these companies I mentioned before. I just like them for how they are and I use them because they are awesome. So again, thank you so much for watching. This is Bananas. Don't forget to smile.